starter decks and structure decks play a specific role in the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. They're designed to be fun, simple, easy to learn, and competitive. But which ones are the best, and which ones waste space? In this series, TJ and myself will draft starter decks and structure decks from Yu-Gi-Oh's different eras and face them off in the tournament in order to find out which is the best from throughout Yu-Gi-Oh's history. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh Deck Draft. What's up, Dos, and welcome to episode five of the Deck Draft series, the final episode of round one, in which we are going to have uh, Starter Deck Kaiba Evolution, the upgraded version, Gosh. versus the fourth rate duelist with the fifth rate deck, Starter Deck, Joey, piloted by yours truly, TJ. Yours truly. <laughs> yours truly. Yours truly, TJ. I feel like that. Uh, that that's not how that works, but... Uh, Huh? Um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We are, we are, uh, hey, anyway, you ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I have to change the rule set. Hold on. All right, I will go second. Yep. I have learned my lesson. All right. This You're ready to see the thousand dragon dropped on you. I wish. I hope that that's what um... happens. That is the best boss monster in your deck. I will normal summon out Gearfried the Iron Knight. He's big. He's pretty big. He dies to a single equip card. Uh. Oh no, he doesn't die. It's that. the equip card that dies. Yeah, that's the reason I played him is uh in case that you drop a um, or well also that he's just an 800 feet, but uh you can't hit him with um, snatch deal, which is great for me. That's your play. Okay. I, he's big deal with him uh-huh mm. i will uh speaking of i'm a normal summon a mystic tomato yeah which kaiba has and we're just gonna go for it. yeah i mean 1400 is uh an amount of damage i'm gonna i'm gonna th i'm gonna throw one in the back seats there ah you had you had a background um Okay, I'm gonna run out a seven colored fish. Oh, nice. Gonna equip it with something? The back row. Mm, nice back row. And uh, I'll just punch your Mystic Tomato. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'll go tomato in. Yeah. Ooh, this would be a good one. That's actually kind of crazy. No, I'll just get another tomato. <laughs> I'll just pass it over. Crazy. Chilling. Crazy. You know what would be really crazy? What's that? You got another fissure? Uh, that would be actually crazy. God. That's a back row back there. I'm going to normal summon Opticlops. Ooh. And I'm going to proceed towards battle. Yeah. Mystic Tomato in. Okay. And I'm going to rush recklessly. Ooh. Make it, it a big rush. tomato. Unfortunately. And I'm going to hit in. Yeah. Opticlops doing, doing damage. damage. And you're good. Okay. I'll wait for the dark hole. That's pretty okay. You don't have I'm it. Okay with this. Okay. Um uh, Can you kill me? I mean, I'm I? certainly not. Can I? Yeah, I think I kinda have to. Ooh, the old reborn. Just gotta grab Gearfried. He is destined for death. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna crash. Maha Vilo. Interesting. Ah, I see what you do. Perfectly fine. We'll crash. Yeah. Man, Mama Vilo's art does that. not make sense. Why? I don't know what. What is it? What is it? <laughs> you just got a funky little hat. What is it though? <laughs> just a guy. All right. Anyway, reborn. God damn it. I'm gonna yeah. grab Opticlops. It doesn't matter. It's funny. <laughs> um, can I kill you? No Duh -duh. shot. I mean, like you. I think you could if you have exactly Fissure ruck, re rush recklessly in another eighteen hundred. Oh, dude, mm, that close! <laughs> it, is, it is. I am very close. <laughs> I am very close. Oh man, you don't even know. I mean, Jesus realistically, Christ, you win this one. All you right, the, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and lodge in okay. here. Another eighteen hundred. Kaiba's got him. I'm telling you. I mean, I do too. I have just as many as you, if not more. I think we have, I don't, how many do you have? Like two or three? Three or four. Because I have two. 
I definitely have at least three because I have Sky Scout, Seven Colored, and Gear Freed. Oh, yep. That's yeah, that's a uh, that's game two. That a wrap? That a wrap? Oh, here we go. Talk it all big. You already lost game one, buddy. Listen, I <laughs> am confident. Uh huh. Okay. I'm gonna go second. Ooh. Uh, this is a pretty good going second hand. I won't lie about it. By that I mean it's it's pretty just bad. I'm just gonna set a card. <laughs> this is a this is a hand. Um. Oh, you kind of love to see that. You have a draw phase activation. Excuse me. Don't worry about that. Um. I might as well go for some damage here. Yeah. Just flip yeah. some in witch here. Swing in. Mm -hmm. You got nothing. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. All right, we did some damage. Uh, go ahead. See what you got. This is a shit game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a bad game. Um, Skill issue. Mm -hmm. There's your three card action. Don't worry about that. Oh my god. Um. Okay. I'm about to witch of the black forest you for your life savings, man. Oh god, this is the crustiest shit. Okay. Okay. Add to my hand. I'm adding... Luster Dragon number two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I tell you this is literally the crustiest Jesus. play I've ever done. Wait, is this just to do damage? Is your hand just nothing but spells? It is not just to do damage. It is. It was almost it entirely spells. You will do damage. <laughs> I'm going to do damage, but... Oh, man. I mean, you're keeping Witch, but that triggers on me, right? So I'm not sure about that. It will. It will Probably. trigger on my graveyard. Which is pretty brutal, but... Okay. Red Eyes, Black Dragon! <laughs> it trades with my Lust Dragon for one I less know. tribute. <laughs> I know. Did you know I... <laughs> That's it's fucking. That's awful, bro. Oh man. All right. Um. Huh. Speaking of, let's go ahead and reborn here. Mm. I'm gonna grab witch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and tribute summon my luster. Witch activate. I'm gonna grab. Uh, I'll grab Lod Jin actually. Yeah, I did misplay here as well, but that's fine. Uh, let's go. You're at a, you're you're out a lot of resources at this point. Oh, I had to out like my entire hand. I know. I'm just gonna trade with you. Here, we'll trade. Yeah. I'll go main. I will pre-mat my luster mm -hmm. and pass the turn, so I have a body on field. Yeah. Sky Scout. He's a body. Oh, he's big. Okay. Yeah, I, I I did, in fact, misplay when I didn't <laughs> put that on the red eyes, but that's okay. Huh. Oh, okay. Excellent. I mean, you just love to see it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I it was, happens. Was, I was it could be sometimes. You anyway, I'll take your red eyes now. <laughs> <sighs> with your own monster. Followed up with the lodge in. Let's go. I totally did not just top deck that fissure. No, totally I totally, not. I totally was not looking at this 2500 Sky Scout and being like, how do I out this? <laughs> because I definitely didn't have one. <laughs> Unless oh, I drew exactly God. like one exactly remove card. Yeah, that's, uh, that's here? not going to do it. That's Darkhold brutal. Here? That is Let's brutal. <laughs> I'm actually what? really sad about that. Are you that. kidding me? All I this mean, smack you... I've heard for like two weeks between recordings, and here we are, fourth rate duels with a fifth rate deck. Come Listen, on, man. bro. I mean, I just didn't get any of my good cards, honestly. I you got know the, how like, I felt for like the game. past couple of duels when I had to play my starter decks. <laughs> oh, honestly, my the starter God. deck is crazy, man. Oh, honestly. my honestly, God. God. Jesus! Yeah, it has it has the dark holes. I was only playing the one, uh, unfortunately. Just like why? Play, Just but... play three. Because I think Fissure is more 
useful, generally speaking. Um, at least in like no this way. kind of format. Um, but I didn't see my three scapegoat. Uh, I didn't. I saw like a couple of my eighteen hundreds, but I'm running f what nine of them. <laughs> yep. Uh, my two Mahavila, but I didn't see the malevolent nuzzler. Uh, I had Mat white magical hat, but I didn't see him. A bro. <laughs> so like, that's the thing. If you're gonna run white magical hat, why not just drop the three, three removal spells, so that you can clear the board for magical hat. Because I was under the assumption, mostly, that we would probably be a roughly even most of the time. And I didn't want to get rid of my stuff. And especially because this deck plays Scapegoat, I didn't want to get rid of my little goaties. <laughs> um, which, again, probably a misplay, but it's fine. I mean, like, the real turning point here is Mystic Tomato Witch, really. Like, those cards just kind of kept me on resources. Mm-hmm really fast which is which was so nice yeah i mean like the, the bad thing about this deck is that it gets sand again it doesn't get witch and i think i have mm -hmm. one target or two i have two targets for sand can geez yeah i mean which target deck. is like the whole deck outside of like exactly blue eyes yeah like which target in this deck is everything except gear freed and uh red eyes yeah like, but I was basically playing like a really faith. weird, bad monarch deck, at least in philosophy, yeah. where I just have a bunch of recurring resources, plus I have Lester Dragon as a one tribute, and mm -hmm. then I'm off to the races who's searchable. So like, mm -hmm. it, I think those were really like the... Plus, in defense, I drew two Moss Reborns both game. Yeah, <laughs> opening Moss game. Reborns a hell of a card. Um... And I just was like waiting for the right time to use them all the time, and it was just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I mean, like that game too, especially. I did not draw a single normal summonable monster until Sky Scout at the very end. Yeah. Um, Man. Like I had re my opening hand was like what Red Eyes, Monster Reborn, Change of Heart, Nuzzler, Fissure. How many Red Eyes were you playing? Two. Two. Interesting. Um, because I mean, it's like the biggest thing in the deck, uh, in Joey's whole arsenal. <laughs> so I needed something. Uh, and it's easy to, like, in theory, if I had gotten them, it's easy enough to get out because scapegoat. I don't think scape to tokens can be tributed, though. Uh, they cannot be tributed for a tribute summon. Oh, yeah, yeah you're right. They literally can't do that. That's an anime only Still, it buys, me, it buys me turns so that I can get other stuff out. No, see, that was my philosophy with started at Kaiba back because I was like, well, we have change of hearts and monster reborns in pre mat so, like, theoretically, it shouldn't be that hard to get two tributes out or two mm -hmm. monsters out to tribute. But in reality, it is kind of hard. I realize is it's, like it's surprisingly hard and especially with the way that we the decks are like the the two tributes tend to not pay off very well any very much anyway because I find oh, that yeah. you kind of just want more bodies on the field more often than not mm -hmm. rather than just putting down a 2400 3000 beater who gets outed by a single fissure like no I know but like I mean like, like I it's said, a bomb I... and it can close out but like I don't know, Red Eyes is just a bad card. <laughs> Red Eyes is a very bad card. Um, but I mean, like, Joey's deck has a lot of really good stuff, but it doesn't have anything to close. Yeah, uh, that's a, a, yeah outside of, like, having v Maha Vilo with some equips on it. Yeah, exactly. That is a good close right there. And, like, it you is, didn't even see, because, but... like, I never drew it, but um, Kaiba also does have the benefit of making Blue Eyes a, a one tribute if I have Kaiser Seahorse on the field. That's true. So, like... Yeah, I think Ka I, that's why I was like, I, I don't know, man. I think Kaiba was getting a little evolution was getting a little slept on because it has some like, not only is it its entire spell trap lineup just stupid busted staples, but it's like mm -hmm. monster lineup isn't bad. Like it's got recruit. Oh, re the recruiters alone are the recruiters like recruiters alone make it a lot better. And I like the recruiters alone with Luster Dragon being a one tribute is enough to make it like pretty good for this format. Yeah. Luster Dragon's a hell of a card. Luster Dragon was format. nice, nice. And it's searchable off of which, like that's kind of insane. Just didn't get what didn't draw the outs. Didn't draw Kaiba, the outs. Kaiba still second best to us in the world. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Mm. Going on to round two. Let's go. Uh, it's gonna have a little bit of a matchup, but um, we'll see how that. Oh, it's up. gonna lose its matchup. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm on a two win streak now, so I'm you I'm, are. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling myself. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, don't forget if you liked it, make sure to hit subscribe. Comment down below what you think and hit the like button.
so that we know that you enjoy this content and you want to see more of it. And we'll see you guys in the next one when we get to the first match of round two. Whole new round. We're going to see uh, the fire deck, whatever it was called. Blaze of Destruction, Blaze whatever. Of destruction. And uh, Zombie Madness go up head to head as the first match in round two. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Later.